Purple Bricks, an online estate agent that was once valued at more than £1.3 billion, has been sold to a rival backed by Sir Charles Dunstone for £1. This shocking deal has left many shareholders and employees in dismay, as the company that promised to revolutionize the property market with its low-cost model has failed to deliver on its ambitions. In this video, we will explore how Purple Bricks went from being a billion-dollar business to a bargain buyout, and what this means for the future of online estate agents. Purple Bricks was founded in 2014 by brothers Michael and Kenny Bruce, who wanted to challenge the traditional high street agents by offering a fixed fee service that allowed customers to sell their homes online. The company claimed to save sellers thousands of pounds in commission fees, while providing a 24-7 service and a dedicated local property expert. Purple Bricks quickly gained popularity and expanded into Australia, Canada, and the US, attracting investors and media attention along the way. However, the company also faced criticism and controversy for its business practices and advertising claims. Some customers complained that they were pressured into paying upfront fees regardless of whether their property sold or not, and that they received poor service and communication from their agents. The Advertising Standards Authority also ruled several times that Purple Bricks misled consumers about its fees and comparison with other agents, and ordered the company to amend its adverts. The problems for Purple Bricks intensified in 2019, when the company announced that it was exiting the Australian and US markets after failing to gain traction and losing millions of pounds. The company also issued a series of profit warnings that sent its share price tumbling from a peak of 500p in 2017 to less than 10p in 2021. The company blamed the challenging market conditions caused by Brexit and COVID-19, as well as increased competition from other online and hybrid agents. In February 2021, Purple Bricks put itself up for sale after admitting that it needed more funding to survive. The company said it had received several expressions of interest from potential buyers, but none of them offered a satisfactory value for shareholders. The only viable option was a deal with Strike, a smaller rival backed by Sir Charles Dunstone, who founded businesses such as Carphone Warehouse and TalkTalk. Talk. Strike agreed to buy Purple Bricks business and assets for a nominal £1, while also taking on its liabilities. The deal effectively wiped out Purple Bricks shareholders, who received only a fraction of their original investment. Strike also warned that it would cut costs at Purple Bricks by reducing its workforce, putting more than 750 jobs at risk. Strike said it intended to grow the business and brand, but also planned to integrate some of its technology and services with Purple Bricks. The sale of Purple Bricks marks the end of an era for online estate agents, who once claimed to disrupt the traditional industry with their innovative and cheaper models. However, many of them have struggled to make profits and gain market share in a competitive and regulated sector. Some analysts have argued that online estate agents have failed to offer enough value and differentiation to customers, who still prefer the personal touch and local knowledge of high street agents. The future of online estate agents remains uncertain, as they face new challenges and opportunities in the post-pandemic world. Some experts have suggested that online estate agents need to adapt their models and services to meet the changing needs and expectations of customers, who are increasingly looking for convenience, flexibility, and transparency when buying or selling their homes. Others have predicted that online estate agents will continue to play a niche role in the market, while hybrid agents that combine online and offline features will become more popular. What do you think about the sale of Purple Bricks? Do you think online estate agents can survive and thrive in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Purple Bricks had faced a series of challenges, including profit warnings, management changes, shareholder disputes and cash flow issues. Here is a summary of the main events that led to the downfall of the online estate agent. In November 2021, Purple Bricks issued its first profit warning, blaming a slowdown in the UK housing market and lower than expected revenues from its overseas operations in Australia and the US. In February 2022, 
Purple Bricks announced it was closing its businesses in Australia and the US, after failing to gain a significant market share and losing millions of pounds. In June 2022, Purple Bricks faced a revolt from some of its self-employed agents, who claimed they were owed thousands of pounds in unpaid commissions and threatened legal action. In September 2022, Purple Bricks issued another profit warning, saying it was running low on the number of homes to sell amid low housing stock and increased costs. Its share price crashed more than 30% on the news. In October 2022, Purple Bricks admitted it had breached the law by failing to protect tenants' deposits in some cases, and agreed to pay £213,000 in compensation and fines. In February 2023, Purple Bricks put itself up for sale, after revealing that its cost-cutting efforts had caused more disruption to its sales force than expected and pushed down the number of new customers. It also said it would scale back its lettings and mortgage businesses. In May 2023, Purple Bricks was sold to Rival Strike for £1, putting all of its more than 750 staff at risk of redundancy. Strike said it intended to grow the business but also cut costs by reducing the employee base. Purple Bricks' share price plunged to a record low of 8.2p, wiping out almost all of its shareholders' value.